So in chapter four, we saw that competitive markets would have an equilibrium where the marginal benefits to the buyers equal the marginal costs to the sellers. In chapter six, we saw that in these competitive markets, if the government stepped in, it would drive us away from that equilibrium. In chapter seven, we're gonna go a little bit farther. When I introduced the idea of demand and supply, I talked about the idea that this model would let us see that the benefits to consumers as a group and the benefits to suppliers as a group would be maximized using the market, if we exchanged using the market. So far, I haven't given you a way to actually measure that. In chapter seven, we're gonna develop a way to show much more precisely the big idea, which is known as the first theorem, the first welfare theorem of economics. The theorem says that if we have those perfectly competitive markets, then all the benefits to consumers, all the happiness consumers get from consumption, plus all the profits that producers get from production is as big as it can possibly be when we're at that equilibrium. We're gonna define the concepts of all the happiness consumers can get as consumer surplus. And we're gonna define the profits that producers make as producer surplus. So the theorem will say, if we have perfect competition, then the sum of consumer surplus and producer surplus is maximized at the equilibrium. So again, the big picture is markets allow us to get the most we can out of our scarce resources by binding the quantity and the price where marginal benefits to consumers equal marginal cost to producers.